a bit better of an angle. So now we're one, two, we're one, two. Now, weight should be on this side. I don't want you guys to, I want to take your head off the body line, but don't move too far over here with your upper body because we're gonna have to push off. Uh, depending on where he goes is gonna be the angle in which we push off at. So one, two, we're gonna step over here. Two, three, step over here. Three, kick to the body. Okay, uh, let's just do one, two, step across two for now, okay? So one, two, step, two, okay? We're trying to keep, trying to get his core going in a different direction than ours, so make him adjust. Uh, a bad fighter will adjust in place. So he'll, uh, yeah, bring your back foot around, all right? Bad fighter does this, boom, you five, bam, bam, whatever I want from here, okay? So, uh, but Kyle's not a bad fighter. He's gonna move away from me. And even the smallest little thing at a small, strong angle, if I see it one time, I'll know the next time to blitz. So I'm one, two, boom. If he doesn't go exactly to this spot at that exact same time, I'm gonna be on him. So, boom, 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 here. If he's just a little off, yeah, just put, your, just put yourself a little square off, okay? So if he's just a little off, boom, whoosh, even here, bad news for him. If we both throw our right hands, look at his core is just going a little bit outside, and he's right in mine. Boom, mine's gonna land first every time, okay? It's not because I'm tall. We have, there's no reach advantage here. My positioning with my hips is just better. Okay, so nailing that spot is the most important thing. So when you make your one twos and your step acrosses, do this. One, two, when you step across here, I want you, your target to be inside your hips while your body and your feet are staggered. And then your, your combinations will come out the best. It's really funny how the most simple things can make all the complex stuff work. Okay, so we can go.